Now that our example project is finished, I would like to export it as a complete film so that I can watch it elsewhere and also share it with others. One of the nicest ways to export a project is to burn it to disk as a DVD or Blu-ray disk directly from within EDIUS. I can call this function up by going to Menu, File, Export, and then choose the Burn to Disk function. Until now, the EDIUS project settings had to be compatible with the DVD or Blu-ray standard in order to burn to disk. Working in projects with typical frame rates like 25, 50, 30 and 60p, a direct export to disk was not possible. This has changed in EDIUS 8.3. After a short wait, the EDIUS Burn to Disk dialog will appear and you are presented with quite a number of possibilities. Again, for this beginner's tutorial, I just want to deal with the simplest method, which will be to just burn to disk without a complex menu as a DVD or Blu-ray disc. In the Basic tab, I can specify if I want to burn a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. But obviously, I will need the proper hardware, such as a DVD or Blu-ray burner. In my case, even though I was working on an HD project, I can choose the DVD output option, and my HD film will be automatically reformatted to the DVD format. In the Movie tab, we can see the information on how much disk space my film will take up. And as my basic project is rather small, we can see that it takes up only a tiny portion of the disk. And we can see a preview menu here, which I don't want to delve into now, so I will deactivate the Use Menu option here, and the film will be burnt directly to disk as is. Next, I can give my DVD a name, and I will just type in Airport. Now, if I had multiple burners, I could specify which drive I wish to burn to, on condition that a correct disk is inserted into that drive. I'll do that now, and we can see that I can finish the process by clicking the button Create Disk and my film will be burnt to disk. Click here for the next video. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. You can find more tips and tricks in our EDIUS podcast. And this playlist contains the complete EDIUS tutorial.